Hello and welcome back to Coastal Crafts. So today I'm on with an order from Every Crafts A Pound. So it's my first time ever ordering from this company. And what made me order was I saw that um, people have been buying these Americano Decor chalk finish paints from there. Um, and I went to look for chalk paints for my um, deco parts that I keep saying that I'm getting into um, in hobby crafts. And they were like five pounds a pot. And I thought, well, if I go on this site and I and these pots are only a pound each, it's going to work out sort of a better value because I'm going to get more for my money. So I picked up some of these and this is what they're like. So I've got a few blue colours, but I really like this colour. It was similar to one I saw in Hobbycraft, so I thought, oh, I like. Um, so it was only a pound, which seems better. <laughs> seemed better than doing that. And I have, haven't done anything with it yet, but I was just trying out painting it to see. This is that one that I painted in, in my other paint, but I wasn't overly happy with the result. And I've messed this up, so ignore that. Um, but this is that paint when it's come out. And I think in one coat, yeah, I'm really happy with the uh, coverage. From this paint. I've missed quite a few bits because I was doing it really quickly just because I wanted to see what the paint would like um, but I'm, I'm really happy with that paint and you get absolutely loads in there 236 millimetres millimetres milliliters as you do um, and they're quite heavy so that was Escape. I also got this colour which looks incredibly similar doesn't it but it's a bit darker and is Tesoro trying to make the actually in real life it's a bit more teal like it looks like a dark blue on there but actually it's quite teal in color um and this one another one so much my third one so if i bought these in hobbycraft not that it was the same, wasn't the same brand obviously it's hobbycraft's own brand but i would already been up to 15 pounds but this is a nice deep blue um they had mostly blues left on there but i like blues so that was fine for me Contribute legado, legado. I don't know if that's in different lang legacy. Obviously, now we look at us. They're going Tresaro. It's not. It's called Treasure, Escape, and Legacy. That was a foreign language. Yes, as you do. Um, I got a green one. Green being one of my favourite colours. And what's this one called? Enchanted. And my last one I got of these was this one this was kind of uh, the main range of their colors that they had left when i bought cameo so that's a nice kind of reddish brown um what i meant to pick up and forgot to stick in my shopping basket was the they had the varnishes from the same brand and the same size pot and i meant to put it in and totally forgot to put them in so i'm kind of annoyed at myself about not picking that up but there we go i just have to try and get it next time I order from there. I'm hoping they'll get some new stock in, so I've got some more exciting things, but really happy with those paints. One pound a go, seems like good coverage. You get loads in there. Um, and great for painting these wooden things that I keep picking up. So I've got some other paints as well to try out. This one looks very similar to the colours I picked up there. I thought it was kind of a, um, like a, a sort of a grey colour and actually it looks kind of blue maybe like a bluey grey but still a nice colour I've not tried these ones out but they say chalk finish for glass so if I wanted to do decoupage on like a glass vase so they're Americana as well so presumably the same company but I don't know too much about that company um, that's a slightly different one and I got the same kind of thing but in it says everlasting which looks like a white colour just I think I went for I think I was trying to get a plain white because I'm short on white then I got this one which is a slightly different make again so I was trying out a few different ones and these are smaller pots but it's a white birch so it's an off-white colour you can't tell that well on the camera but it's just like a slightly off-white um that's just a multi-surface acrylic paint in satin and then I haven't got any silver paint so I picked up this one they had a nice looking gold one but I thought I've already got about three different gold paints so I didn't get it but it did look really nice um, yeah, so those were a pound each as well, and I need to try those out. So, as you can see, I've got lots of paint, and if I'd bought those not on every crafts pound, that would have probably been all my budget gone. Um, so, in addition to paints, I did pick up some bits to paint. I tried out their chipboard, so it was a pound for two of these A4 pieces, and because I'm using chipboard for my um, 
making journals and things. I thought it'd be useful to pick up some more chipboard because I pretty much use one sheet for each side. So you end up using two pieces for each one. So I thought I'd try that one out and add it in. Um, and if I need more chipboard, it might be somewhere I consider going back to. So that was another pound down the drain, as it is, spent. Then I picked up some little chipboard hearts just because I keep, I just want a whole load of things to practice on for this decoupage that I'm, you know, you sort of need to practice for you, don't you? So I'm trying to actually get good. So I'm going to paint these ones up and just try practice out decoupage on. Um, and they were, were they a pound or were they 50p? They were 50p, so I thought I can practice on those and they will be a good thing to try out on. And the last thing that's similar to that is this one which was a pound and it's a deco it's not a deco i'm going to use it for decoupaging probably i'm going to paint it up in that but it's just a chipboard crate you can't see that very well can you um i haven't opened this up yet let's just have a quick look so i wasn't sure how it would come and it coming flat pack makes a lot of sense let's try and get that in so you see how they've put it's not showing up very well, is it? It's not the world's greatest picture. But anyway, it's going to make a little crate like that. And that's how they've painted it up and put some straw and eggs in and, and things. So you get all the bits. Chipboard's the same thickness as the other sheets of chipboards. And obviously you've got to put it all together yourself. And now I've just pushed all the bits out. So um, I might have to slot those back in before I store it. But yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that, giving that a go as something else. it make a cute little gift basket. Um, and I do sometimes give gift baskets. I did this Christmas. So it would be a nice little gift of things. So I thought that would be useful. Um, and then just continuing on, on the, it's all on a very similar theme. The decoupage, this one, was that down to, that was a pound I think, this one. And these papers, when I looked in Hobbycraft, they had them reduced, but they were still re only reduced to £2.80, which I thought was really expensive. Whereas this was a pound, um, I think that's really pretty. I know it's Christmassy, but that's just so pretty. And I've got this one for 50p, but I just really like that design, that dog tooth design. So I'm definitely going to be using those. Um, and then something else that I was very excited about was getting these paper pads. Now, I know I don't need any more paper pads, but I never buy myself the... Um, I'm just going to move it up a bit so you can see better. The first edition paper pads, I think, well, they're quite expensive. But £5 for the 12 by 12 ones, I treated myself. And this one is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, sorry. I have opened it. Um, and I'm sure you've seen it before because it's not a new one, obviously. They sell off all the old stuff on this site, but I don't own it. Love that wood grain. And they've got a nice sort of feel to it as well, kind of a linen-y feel on these ones. Um, a really sort of natural you see I've got more brown I was saying I haven't got much brown and I bought that last paper pad and then here I go oh that's my sardines um and then this I'm go buying another one that's similar brown colours this one it's all embossed on the little stag heads and I'm not a hunting person whatsoever I'm the opposite but um I sort of don't see that in a hunting um as a hunting concept, I'm seeing it more as a lovely deer concept. These are pretty. Love animals, obviously. Lovely wildlife. Um, I could almost be seaweed and things as well, that one. I've got these metal sardines that I was given hanging up there. And that's what keeps getting knocked. I like that kind of vintage newspaper. Um, rabbits. This would be cute, wouldn't it, for Easter? As well as other things. Um, this one's just generic stripe. These ones are double sided. I happened to have ripped this one out because I was going to use it for something. So a bit of a grid and some leaves. I love my wood grain so I'm always happy to have more wood grain. I've already used some of that. More stripes but it's got this cute grid on the back. Spots. more. I like the, the grid more. Um, tartan. I love a bit of tartan. What else have we got? See that one comes up more than once. They look a bit scared, don't they, those animals? I love those birch trees. I like the fact it's in black and white. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. I'm going to go through there quite so I'm just like, oh, I really like that Wild at Heart one. Anyway, that's um, that's that one. So five pounds. I've just built something on the floor, so I'm just conscious that my 
foot's getting wet as I step on it. And this was the other first edition pad that I got called Perfect Illusion. And the idea behind that is to go with my um, those alchemy sets that I was showing you. Probably not in this colour scheme, but, you know, changing the colour scheme of the um, little test tubes and things to make the album to go with this. So it's not something that I would normally go for. Um, but because I had this idea of making this kind of alchemy journal and sort of sciency and all that, I thought actually this paper would go really nicely for that. Let's try and sort out those bits and I'll quickly flick through that. I don't know why that's not open so I'm sure I've looked at this. It's a terrible way of doing it, cutting it like that, but there we go. So this is more of a lovely floral one that could be different things. These are all the linen-y ones at the start. It's kind of random, isn't it? It would make an interesting background. So with that, and that's how I knocked that over in the first place. Um, and they're all shiny, shimmery on the back. So look at that, it's really psychedelic, 60s. Interesting, like a coral reef. It's very shimmery. Some of these are just very abstract, aren't they? And that's a lovely floral one, but I definitely see it sort of all getting mixed in. Um with that sciencey album and things like that. I think are really nice. More kind of psychedelic stuff, isn't it? Whoa. But I know, I, I saw somebody said they were gonna use it for kind of steampunk and things like that. So with this album as well. Um, seem to be having trouble running out of memory on my phone, but I'm gonna see if this will quickly finish it off um so just show you through some more of these kind of psychedelic papers and we will see what i come up with to create with that but i didn't know what to expect with that one but yeah i definitely think it's going to work for what i had in mind and the last thing i picked up it wasn't quite the last thing but the last paper pad i picked up um was one that someone mentioned to me about getting the sweet moments because I've been talking about how I bought those um, dyes that were vintage tea party themed and these are all one sided I'm sure you've seen these ones before very pretty very sort of birthday um, and girly I love a bit of um what do you call that gingham is it gingham and quite generic backgrounds that would be really easy to use. Good old macaroons. I love macaroons. I'm on a diet at the moment. I can't eat them. Just have to imagine it. That's pretty, isn't it? Quite sort of country-like. Yeah, so that's that set. I know I'm going through it really quickly. I'm conscious of my battery cutting out. Not battery, my memory cutting out. And the last two things I picked up were this lost and found because if you are an avid viewer of me you crazy people um you'll remember that i won the rest of oh, that one's falling off the rest of this collection from simply cards and paper craft um and i have did use it to make a journal so this would go with that i didn't get this one in it and these were 20 that was 75p this paper pad was a pound with 12 by 12 bargain um and these little butterfly stickers were only 25p i thought they were going to be bigger but i'm happy with the size that they are they are just adorable i think so yeah that's what i got from every crafts a pound and let me know if you know when they get new stock in because i want to get on there and check it out so why not help me out here <laughs> speak to you soon bye